this is Maria from Maddie's Way of Life. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are working off the Budget Classic Happy Planner and we are directly working in my form that I created so that I can work with my husband's paycheck. He was paid yesterday. So we're going to write yesterday's date and I am married. We're a family of four and I help mom and dad when possible. Yesterday's date was May. I'm trying not to get the date wrong. I did that last budget video. Five and yesterday was a six. Six twenty. And we are going to budget out of seven hundred thirty-five dollars. And let's get started. I'm going to start with my challenge money first. And just know that is doubling just because I didn't do it last week. I didn't budget, and this is what happens when I don't budget. I'm just being very transparent with you guys. I I literally had a lot of retail therapy and only honestly I I don't want to make this a long story but honestly because I didn't have it on paper I figured like I had extra money you know I knew deep inside that it wasn't I'm not going to lie to you guys but I, it was in the bank and I spent it so it is what it is there it is I'm doubling my challenge and appliance money because I spent it <laughs> there's no way around this and um, I'm allowed to we're allowed to um, it's not the best feeling but I love receiving my stickers so <laughs> that's the plus um, this one right here is going to go for a sinking fund sinking fund and this one right here is cash no it's not going to be cash well apparently my whiteout is not where it should be so all right, so it's not cash, it's staying in the bank. Okay, that works. And that's for $100. And this is a story that I need to tell you in a little bit. Give me one sec, let me just write everything down. Then we have groceries. And that right there is $200. And that one stays in the bank as well for debited amounts. And then, and this includes groceries right now includes eating out as well. When we have pizza night on Saturday or Sunday, the groceries spending, and this is my husband's spending only. Oh, wow. It is running out of ink. <laughs> spending 40 and that's cash. Oops. I need to get another one, guys. Give me one sec. Okay, let's see. Savings. And this is just in our regular savings in the bank because sometimes, you know, we need extra cash flow. It doesn't technically stay there, but here it is. And if you hear noise in the background, that's my husband. Uh, this one right here stays in the saving account until we need it. And that's $50. Then um, our garage door... <laughs> it's it needs fixing or repair so we need to save for that and that is a sinking fund so last time i spoke to you guys my husband and i decided that instead of aggressively paying the credit card that i wanted to pay uh, we were going to start doing other sinking funds which in this case it kind of helped because a lot of things we need a lot of home repairs that need to be done. And we've been struggling with that for a while, starting with like plumbing and just, yeah, I, it just happened. So, and it happens when you're a homeowner. So you have to put into your home. And so I'm kind of happy that we did. The problem is that when I was in my aggressive pay off dead tiger mode, I didn't delete the payments from every Wednesday. So I had recurring payments where it was going to just go in every Wednesday for $250. Well, I forgot to cancel it. It got charged this morning and I looked at the bank account and there's $87. So those $250 were allotted for groceries, which is $200. And then there was some money left out of um, gasoline because he put some in yesterday. So technically what we're going to do is spend on the credit card because we do need that money. I mean, we needed the cash flow but now it's in the credit card. So, I mean, it's bad news, but I mean, it is what it is. I don't know. I've been very confused lately. I'm not sure why. Okay, that being said, 
let's go ahead and add this and ho I'm hoping it does add up because I mean, uh, my bank is already at 87 cents balance. So <laughs> I'm hoping this is correct. If not, we're going to have to figure this out. Let's see. We're putting $100. I'm going backwards. I'm not sure why. Let's just start from the top. 40 plus 200 plus 100 plus 200 plus 40 plus 50 plus 100 equals 730. I'm not sure why I always leave the $5 out, but that's okay. Um, because at this point there's only 87 cents in the back. And I think that's give or take because of the gasoline that he did put in my car and in his car. So it should be fine. All right, cool. So we should be fine. And I just wanted to make sure that I showed you the breakdown and he did take this out. So he did take two denominations of 20 for that. He did take out uh, four denomination of 50 because he just went to the ATM and it only gives like, I think 50s. So he did four fifties on this. And then for gasoline, it obviously stayed in the bank. Thankfully it did because that's how the credit card payment went through and this too. So that was in the bank. This one he took out and he had two denominations of 20, which he took and then savings savings that's directly into the bank savings account. And then this one, he took out two fifties. So that's how we budget. And I did do this. I was trying to, just so you know, this is not coming out of nowhere. Like I had my notes and trying to figure things out here and there, trying to see if I really wanted to double the money. And so we did this together Wednesday morning and it was actually very relaxing guys because my husband took, I don't know if you remember, if you've been here for a while, you know, my husband did not want to do this. He was rebelling to the core and it took a lot of work from my part and a lot of will from his side to get this done, but I didn't stop. And we're still, even though like sometimes it looks like it's in a post-it, I've said that before, sometimes it looks like this. And then I come and show you what I did, whatever it takes, I, we're still going for moving forward because we do want to pay the debt. And now my husband is super involved. He like literally budgeted this with me yesterday morning. So, I mean, it works. It really does work. So right here, we're supposed to have in cash. Let's see if that holds true. Six denominations of 50 and then four. Oops. Yeah, I did that right. And four, I haven't done this in a long time. And four of 20, which means if we have six of those, we have $300. I'm hoping that I'm doing the math correctly. And then we have four 20s. So we should have $80. Now, out of these $80, my husband took 40. So this is 730. Um, that's what we got, right? Yeah, that's what we have is 730 there. So that should be good. And then that's what we should have cash. So let's check and see if that's the case. Before I go and get the cash, I want to show you our challenge. So last week we didn't do anything with the challenge because like I said, um, my daughter has been messing with my stuff. My white house not here and now my tweezers are not here. And that is not a nice thing, especially with these small stickers. Great. I'm going to have to look for them. So anyway, we are last week we were week 18 and I'm just going to do a $20 bill for now. And then this week we're week 19 of the year. So what this is, it's $1 per week of the year, of the current year. So it's 52 weeks altogether. So I'm supposed to put 18 week, $18 for last week, $19 this week, and I'm just gonna do $20 bills. So let's go ahead and take out the post-it that I had in here. Let's close this up and all right, so 18 weeks, and now we're not, oh, I'm getting the wrong pen again. 19 weeks, weeks, this is where we are, equals, equals. Okay, so we're, we're at 153, and then plus $18, plus $18 equals $171. And then this week, plus 19 equals $190. This is where we should be at this week. Let's see. 
as long as it's under that, I am okay with that. So this is what was in there and this is what my husband brought in from the bank. Okay, so we're going to pull one, 20, two 20s. And now in here we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 100, 100, 200. Oh my goodness, yay! So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, we're $200. So we're over by 10 and that is a good thing. So we're leaving it here so I don't have to do all the math every day and we're going to put it back in here. Now, before I go wash my hands, I want to pull out my sinking fund. So let's check that out. Let's check appliances. And we put $100 here last time. One, two, three four or five my husband already looked into what dryer we want and it's 450 plus tax so 500 dollars that we need we have 100 and this time we're putting 200 dollars in here so that's 100 200 that would be one two three four so that's 200 200 one 220 240 260 280 300 so now we are at $300 for our appliances. So hopefully in two weeks we can buy that dryer finally. <laughs> okay, the next thing is I have $100 for something. I'm not sure what that is. I forgot. What did we say? Oh, we want to do for home. Yeah, the garage. Okay, home maintenance. I'll put it in home maintenance. I want to say I feel like one of this is heavier. I wish I had some money in here. <laughs> okay, we're going to put in home maintenance. It's $100. My husband said it'll be approximately $150 to $200 to fix that door. So we'll see. For now, there's $100 in there and I'm really happy. I'm going to bring some Clorox wipes. I'm gonna go wash my hands and I will be right back. All right, that was done. I am very excited with the sinking funds and it smells really clean in here. <laughs> I'm very excited with everything else. I have been writing everything down. The bills have been going in perfectly. I don't know if you noticed that I didn't have a speech payment and the speech department that my daughter attends uh, decided not to charge that fee or the co-payment. So I'm really happy about that. And they just made that decision so they didn't charge that fee as well as I think that Taekwondo will not be doing it either. So because of that, I won't have bill payments in my with my husband's check, which really helps pay that debt. And just so you know, this month I have given with my paycheck $610 to my credit card account. So that is really cool and I'm really excited. Hopefully that can speed that process up and we'll see where it takes us. My goals was that by my birthday, which is May 19, I had paid this credit card right here. Let me show you. I even wrote it on my goals for May, um, this one right here. So we were able to pay that. If you missed last video, go check it out. We were able to pay that with a stimulus check and that was really amazing. I was happy about this one. So now we're just tackling this one right here and hopefully that could happen. ASAP as well. So I'll keep you updated. I am done for today. Thank you for joining me. I know my videos are changing, but also my budget has changed and the world is rapidly changing with budget and all that. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every single one of you. If you have any questions, do not hesitate. Comment down below. I'll make sure I'll try to answer to those as soon as possible. I love you guys. Take care. But more than anything, God bless. Bye-bye.